G'day, my name's Steve Harrison uh, and uh, I've been uh, an educator for many years and uh, I'm here to talk to you today about uh, a new book that's just been released by admittedly one of my favourite authors, Richard Flanagan, and it's uh, this book, Toxic. Richard opens his, uh, his book uh, at his shack on uh, Bruny Island and uh, where he bemoans how the environment and the atmosphere he experiences has changed for the worse and he blames it all upon the Tasmanian salmon industry. Well this is Port Esperance. In the distance there you can see the headquarters of Tassau, Tasmania's largest salmon company. Um, this is my backyard and salmon farming has happened in this backyard here for 37 years. Now I'm standing on a pristine beach with nobody else. We don't have any green slime. Our water is as clear as you can imagine. As far as industrial noise goes, well, over here in the distance is a salmon farming well boat, which, when it's not even a, a rough day today, which you can not even hear. And uh, unfortunately today in, our, in my backyard, we've got this, which is a regeneration burn carried out by Sustainable Timber Tasmania, and uh, I think that sustainable should perhaps be in inverted commas. A, uh, a previous target of uh, Richard Flanagan's uh, efforts, and one which, uh, rightly or wrongly, I think uh, I think I agree with, but uh, not on this latest one here. So Mr. Flanagan blames the destruction of this in this environment upon the salmon farming industry and he launches into an emotional tirade against the industry which I find the facts don't that he quotes do not actually stack up. One claim that uh, Richard Flanagan makes in his book Toxic is that you can't catch a flathead anymore in the Huon and in the Channel. Now a flathead, our most popular recreational fish, is yes, it's, uh, it's difficult to catch a flathead as easily as it was 20 years ago. But as Sam Ibbett, Director of Marine Solutions, said to the Legislative Council inquiry into the Tasmanian salmon industry, the fact that uh, we can't catch as many flathead as we did 20 years ago might have something to do with the fact that there were over 106 metre uh, runabouts at one boat ramp in the channel on one weekend. But even here in Port Esperance, only this morning, there was a fishing vessel in the middle of this bay line fishing for fish such as pink ling and other species commercially catching fin fish in this bay so wild fisheries wiped out by salmon which have been farmed in this bay for 37 years i don't th really think so stack up he begins it in his backyard and his last chapter concludes it in his backyard and one could say that it is the classic example of nimbyism, not in my backyard. But let's see as we examine it chapter by chapter and uh, see what is the truth behind toxic. Is it a fact or is it a toxic piece of fiction? Uh, I'll post this onto my YouTube channel and uh, hopefully I can do one every couple of days, um, but uh, stay tuned.